you come from a family weighed down with medals between your father, your aunt, your own sister. Mm. At what point do you start thinking, I need to start getting in gear here? Oh, I, t- I started thinking that a couple of years ago, but it's uh, it's a bit harder than um, than um, than it sounds. But no, look, uh, obviously everyone in the family played and uh, there's a good history there or whatever, you know, so I feel like I'm falling behind a bit at home now. But um, no, look... Just, I suppose, all we can do is go out every day and try and put in a performance and, uh, you know, hopefully someday the medals will come, but we'll have to look after the performances first anyway. You're an unusual creature in that you play your football, am I right, in West Cork. Cork, You play your hurling here in the city. That must be quite difficult. Uh, that's all right. I suppose we we always grew up playing football down in West Cork anyway, and um, you know it's a great opportunity to go down and see the family and everything when when we're down as well. All the rest of the family are playing down there still as well, so you know it was definitely very much a, a family thing. And then um, when we were when we were taking up hurling and everything else in Cork, uh, we we fell into St Finbar's Club who. To be fair to him, welcomed us with open arms as well. We were living in the Toker area. So, um, yeah, you know, no hurling down in West Cork. So the Castlehaven lads didn't have any qualms with us playing hurling, hurling up in the bars, you know. So it uh, worked out fine in the end. What was the inspiration to stick with the hurling rather than the football for inter-county reasons? Um, I suppose, number one, I saw it as, you know, the the enjoyment factor of it and uh, definitely found at the time I was probably enjoying hurling a bit more. Um, for whatever reason, I, th- I think, you know, it's, it's a small bit more instinctive and uh, very quick and everything else. And then I suppose the second part of it was that, you know, I would have always nearly been a footballer growing up. Um, came from a footballing background everything else so saw it, a bit, saw it as a bit of a challenge as well you know so and um, you know everyone likes a, a bit of a challenge so wanted to see if I could give it a go for a year or two and uh, where it where did bring me and uh, you know still at it anyway so yeah and still enjoying it. You're in a position of a lot of responsibility because if the ball goes beyond you <laughs> it's only Anthony Nash there yeah. in there then at that point how do you prepare for it that kind of it's a physical workout but it's also a mental workout for those 70 plus minutes yeah I suppose I'm lucky I have a good man behind me anyway he's bailed us out of trouble a lot of times but um, no um, I suppose I would say that to a lot of people that had asked us about the kind of physical fatigue of playing games week on week and everything else with the new format but I find in in the, in the position we play in in the full back line um, a lot of the time it can be a lot more mentally fatiguing because you have to be literally tuned on and concentrating for the whole game there's no, you can ever have a, a lapse in concentration. So I suppose mentally it can be um, it can be more draining than physically at times. And equally, then when <clears throat> Corker on the attack, and you've got a chance to catch your breath, but you're still saying you can't turn off. So what are you doing at that point? Oh, literally trying to get back on my feet. I'd say at that stage. Um, no, like when 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 the lads are on it on the attack, it's a great opportunity for us to to get close to our marker uh, and as close as possible so that if the move does break down and it, it, it changes around quickly, you're in a good position to go and attack the ball or else if he wins it, you're in a good position to defend it. I was speaking to John Myler there earlier and Donald O'Mahony and they both placed a lot of emphasis on learning and how you grow by learning and how making mistakes is okay on this team so long as you know why you made them and you work on fixing them. What do you think you've you've carried most and learned most in the last year under their stewardship? Um... You know, I, I suppose that a lot of things, really, to be honest. Um, you you turn up to training every night and, you know, at the end of the night you might sit down and analyse how training went and you might pick out two things that went well for you and two things that you felt you need to improve on. And, uh, you know, that thing that you feel you need to improve on should never be popping up two weeks in a row or three weeks in a row, you know, so you're just trying to iron out all those things. But... Um, you know, playing where I'm playing anyway, a lot of the thing is about decision making. So putting yourself under pressure in training to make the right decision on whether, you know, you attack this ball or whether you're trying to, you know, whether he's going to win it and you then have to defend it or whatever, you know. But it's just putting yourself under pressure in that situation as often as possible so that when it comes to day, game day the, that you make the right decision. Obviously, Cork have had a good uh, run into the Munster Championship. Obviously, you're in the final. However, there are some things that people are noticing, like, for example, you get good leads and then you allow teams come back at you. And obviously, you and the defence be one of the people kind of in the firing line mm-hmm. for that. Why do you think that's been happening? Um, I suppose there's a million factors to c- come into play on something like that. Um, and... I suppose the, the the championship format the way it is is that it's uh it's intense it's um it's week on week 
so there's going to be an element of physical and mental fatigue pop into play but that should you know that shouldn't really be the case uh, we've been looking at trying to iron that out I suppose and make sure that we're steeled to, to go for a, a 70 minute performance um, so that's all we'll do for the next day is trying to trying to bring our 70 minute performance